Hey there, Jake. Hi, how are you doing? Well, hey, man, it's great to see you. I got a chance to listen awesome. to the entire record, Letters to Myself. It is awesome. It's very melodic. Um, I saw in the description that you guys called it more alternative metal, and I, I do agree. It, it's got really good, uh, like, Gothenburg, Sweden melodic aspects to it, though, as well. So it's definitely like a, like a signature point of both things you and Jesper have done, and that's really cool. No, oh, thank you, thank you. It's so nice to hear that you like it. It's always hard, like when when you're when you're being interviewed, you know, you never know what to expect from the other side. I mean, like, just because someone wants to interview you, that doesn't mean that that the person on the other end likes it. Yes, um, it, it implies something that you found in yourself that was born out of struggle and suffering. But I noticed that the title track yes. itself was actually letter to myself which kind of gave it a pinpoint focus there for the time being just on that song um was, was there a yes. reason for that yeah that, 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 that's it that, that's uh, made on purpose actually because uh, it's also a play with the fact that there the letters in this uh, in, in the plural form is the songs it's 12 songs it's 12 letters and, and uh, when you come to the title song, it's a letter. It's one letter to myself. So it's one of the, the all of them. Um, so that's that's the thing, and it absolutely implies finding yourself. And 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 it's you know it's sometimes when you're going through a really hard period in life, it, it can help to write things down or talk to someone and that's what the title means as well you know you write something down to, to pick up again you know when it, next time you're you're feeling really really low you could pick these things up and you know read through your journal or whatever it is and you know oh fuck I uh, I felt like this now I feel like this again and how did I how did I manage to get out of there it could also be a good thing to a reminder to yourself as if you have ever written a journal um, if you're going through a happy part of life, you can always go back and like, yeah, I, I was this down, but I made it up, and here I am. You know, I should be proud of myself. Yeah, that's that's very true. And I noticed throughout the record that a lot of it was definitely born out of, of suffering or struggle. A lot of it, as I had seen in the press release, it seems to imply something of optimism through struggle. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's a dark album, but with a lot of positive uh, undertones. Um, there's, there's like uh, the, the song here to save you, for example, uh, uh, is is uh, about all that 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 you know that someone has gotten back down deep again, but but uh, there's. There, there, there's always, uh, you know, <clears throat> you can always fall back if, if you've been going through a bad addictions or getting up from addiction and you will fall back into it again. But, but there's always, so you, you, you made it out the first time, you, you could do it again. The, so I wanted to go on towards the band's sound. Uh, I know that you both have roots in some more extreme material. What was the decision to make this more melodic? And, and not necessarily go so aggressive and extreme, but to hone in more on like the the more songwriting aspect of your individual music. We just, we, we just sat down and write. We're old. <laughs> no, no, we, that's we, we didn't have any ambition how it would turn out. You know, we we just yeah, as Jake said, we just sat, sat down and write. And uh, either I was playing down with the with the guitar, or Jake was playing on the, the piano, or and one thing led to another, and then we had, we had a song. And uh, um, I would have to ask too, though, um, what was like, what was the decision to include, like? the electronics in there as well. I know that those are both things that are standard to your your like previous bands, In Flames as well as Amaranthi, uh, but they're more subtle in, in this form, which is kind of cool. 
Yeah, but it, it's for us uh, synth, uh, synth and uh, keyboards are just a natural thing because that makes that if, if we have any chance to to make the song more uh, powerful and make it bigger in the sound picture, so to speak, then the synthesizer and the and, uh, keyboards are great. But I think it's those who complain about, oh, there's synths on this record. That, that's just a 1% of narrow-minded uh, people that, that doesn't that doesn't think out of the box. They just, uh, like, metal is metal. And you can't, you can't, uh, you know, go, go outside the, 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 the limits, you know. I like it a lot. I think that it adds like a, a cinematic like vibe to the album. And I, I noticed that the song order is very like thoughtful. Every song uh, in a specific order, it, it just feels thought out. It feels like the album flows really well. And we spent a lot of time on the on, uh, on putting the order together actually. And, and uh, I had a friend of mine that, that, that got a copy of the, the album but he got it early on before the three listening uh, versions came out, and and he's he's been listening to the album in the wrong order the whole time. And he had a couple of songs that he didn't like, and then he got the pre-listening or the promo, the promo, uh, and he listened to it in the correct order. And all of a sudden, he said that now the album is complete. Now I love all the songs because that was apparently something that gave him another experience on the album which is pretty funny at least for for me it always depends on where the ballad comes and where where it takes off and when it goes down and and, and so on so yeah nowadays people don't listen to whole albums anymore unfortunately in in in, in this environment people are listening to a song or two or they're they're at a party and they put the song on that that like the most and uh yeah, they pick up their favorites and they do a playlist of it. Yeah, kind of like uh, the old days when you bought a, a vinyl or a CD and, uh, and you actually... We spent a couple of hours in front of your, 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 your... We're just sitting like this with yeah. a booklet. I, can, I, I miss those days. Except when I, when I, when I bought uh, <coughs> St. Angle with uh, Metallica, I listened to two songs, then I started crying. <laughs> and, I, and I and I threw the the, the, the cover uh, as hard as I could to the floor. It's like, is this what I've been waiting for for eight years? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Syra having that melodic as well as the cinematic sound that's that's very um, textured and it, in some ways it soothes even. But you know, that's that's definitely thanks to the individual. Um, technicalities of every member. Jake having such a, a great, clean voice, as well as your guitar playing, Jasper, and the drummer is tight as shit. You know, everybody's really great at what they do in the band. I, I have to say, um, rather ask, would it be possible to hear Syra go down a heavier route in the future? Or is this the route that you guys want to go down with the name? We we have no idea what we're going to sound on on the, on the next album, but we we know one thing. It could be. Uh, I mean, I, I could mean, probably uh, gain a couple of pounds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm over. Uh, I, I have. But, I mean, it's it's also a matter of production. <clears throat> uh, uh, but uh, we are starting uh, so so a seed uh, for the next album. Because it will come, it will be a follow-up, pretty, pretty uh, close to the, this. Uh, I can say more, but uh, <coughs> high prices. Uh, so, it's, uh, so we, we will start uh, try out some new songs. Very cool. Pretty soon. Very cool. So I wanted to ask to um, you. You both seem very happy, first of all, in this band, and that's great to see. You both deserve that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask how, how you each felt about um, your respective former bands' uh, newer releases, Battles for Inflames and Amaranthes, 
not Massive Addictive, or is it Massive Addictive? Is that the newest one? Yeah, that, 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 the last one is called Maximalism, and I actually sang on that, uh, but, uh, but uh, I decided to leave the band already before that album was released, but I don't I don't want to, us to go into what we think about other albums. I mean, as Jesper said in another interview, they're doing their things and we're doing our things, and hopefully we'll meet on tour and uh, and uh, festivals and and you know we'll have a beer and have a laugh. So so I mean, that's the way it is. I respect that very greatly. Uh, yeah, I agree. I can <coughs> I can comment on battles uh, actually. No, that's what I just yeah. said. Yeah, uh, it's it's just um, for, to be honest, I think they should actually change the name uh, because it's such a huge, huge difference uh, from the beginning. Uh, so, so, but but if that that's the that's the way they want to do it, uh, fine, and uh, they're happy with the, the new members. So. All good luck to them. Everyone is in the right place. No, I didn't say that the uh, button sucks ass. That wasn't uh, what I said. It's just it's very they 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 have uh, developed so much in a uh, direction. I will not say which one. Uh, yeah, I definitely agree with you, man. It's a little bit different from the uh, the extreme melodic death metal sound they used to have but even then like Come Clarity and, and albums like that were, were very different they were already kind of a departure I don't feel like they they like to stay stagnant you know what I mean yeah but yeah I think yeah, <coughs> some sort of uh, no no I wasn't on that uh, I think that um, what the hell is uh, the sense of purpose it's a very underrated album, actually. Yes, I yeah, agree. Because I think that that that, 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 that have all all the, the elements that that the claims is about, but it's got so so much shit. It's like the the, the worst album. Uh, if people vote, it's like they hate, it. and I can't get that. Actually. Is that the one with the alias on it? <laughs> yes, I love that album. I think that's fantastic. I do too. I agree. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's weird. Well, that's the way it is, I guess. And what do you say about that? We were, yeah, we were done. Yeah, that's question. Unfair criticism on, on that record. I definitely do agree. Should have gotten more love. So I'm excited to see Syra tour. Um, will you be hitting the U.S. anytime soon, bringing that over here? Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it. It takes time. It, we're, we're a new band, so it doesn't uh, work out as fast as when, you're, when you've are when you been releasing a couple of albums, then you could just call your agent and say that we want to tour next week and, and you have a couple of gigs lined up. Uh, for us, it's a little bit harder, but we're working really hard on it. And uh, it, it looks like we're going to go out and um, do both a European tour and a US tour uh, in the near future for next year. That's awesome. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. And a lot of festivals next summer <clears throat> but it all depends on how how the um, album will be uh, will be uh, received uh, received yeah. yeah because we don't know if we have any fans <coughs> but uh, we have a gut feeling that, uh, that I think that this this album is gonna be quite well received actually I, I have a feeling that it will be too it, it's very Accessible. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. very accessible. So, so what I say earlier, it's like I think we we get we gonna lose some of the hardcore fans of our old bands, but we we're gonna gain a lot of new fans that uh, maybe not even is into metal because it's I don't know if the, I can't really point out what what kind of genre we are well I would like to ask actually about the karma music video um, what's the symbolism behind that it seems like it, it has a, a deep meaning in the video more literal maybe it, it, it follows through everything like like uh, uh, fighting your demons is uh, the, the whole 
you know theme of the whole album and and as you as you see the the you, you wake up in the beginning and it, the, the the video starts as it ends and you know you could you could put whatever I mean I'm a guy a guy with a gun that that's running from things and and you know I'm facing something in the end but I get you know um, hit down to the floor and and you know that that's like when you're when you're trying to to fight your demons but they always fight you back and, and you know like to be continued in the end is is uh, you know <laughs> put, putting it all into a context when you know and uh, if I like it's a it's a good it's also good uh, the visuals are good uh, to present the, the members so is there anything you'd like to add in closing anything you want to say to any of your fans please 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 please, please have a listen to the album when it comes out next Friday we're also releasing a new single and uh, listen to <laughs> Open minds, yeah. Open mind. Don't, don't compare us to our former bands. Uh, that's, yeah, that's what we like it or not like it. But please have a listen. And and if you want to uh, follow us on on our social media, go to syro.com and click yourself uh, to whatever. Um, why? Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, New Porn. I don't know, but but all the accounts are up there. A very reasonable plea, and I cannot wait to see you guys here in the U.S. Thank you so much for your time, Jesper and Jake. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, and I hope, hope, hope to meet you soon. Uh, for your interest in, in the band. Yeah. Thank you very much.